Hello and welcome back to Because Drum Geek. Today I'll show you the advantage of using the DAW Cubase for VSTi e-drumming. The main advantage is making drum samplers that primarily are not designed for e-drumming or just simple ones more powerful and get them more like the flagship tools. For example EZ Drummer 2. I want to get it more controllable and comfortable for e-drumming like Toontrack's flagship Superior Drummer 2. So the most important thing is to attach several MIDI tracks in Cubase, each track for one drum kit piece or one articulation. Please color them in order to stay well arranged. Here I show you my MIDI track setup for one instance of EZ Drummer 2. I use blue for the kick drum, red for the snare. You can see three different tracks for snare center Rim shot and rim click here. Green and pale blue for hi hat and hi hat pedal. Purple for the toms. Pink for the right symbol. Yellow for the crashes. And finally, orange for special articulations like temp or cowbell. The reason why splitting the instrument track in several MIDI tracks is the lack of dynamic controls of simple drum tools like EZ Drummer. With Cubase MIDI modifiers, which are part of the MIDI track editor, you are able to control the MIDI level, the velocity curve and a gate function for each articulation without changing your default drum module settings. This is very comfortable, as you want to switch between different setups for different EZ drummer kits. And unlike most other sequences, Cubase offers the best and most comfortable MIDI features and modifiers. And it really gets advanced if you can band MIDI with real-time MIDI plugins like the programmable transformer. This feature comes with the Cubase Artist and Pro versions and I will take you up on this later. Now, what is important when separating the articulations? You will have to dedicate the MIDI track to the note number of the articulation. You achieve this by setting up the note filter as shown. In my example, the bass drum track is dedicated to B0 and C1. Now you can edit the velocity compression and change the velocity response for that single kit piece. This is quite similar to editing a velocity curve and in my opinion one of the most important features for getting EZ Drummer powerful for e-drumming. I made a list of values. 2 slash 1 is for very little dynamic and 13 slash 12 is nearly linear. Here is the list. And you can gate the MIDI input with the velocity filter. In my example, 40 slash 127, all MIDI notes with velocity lower 40 will be ignored. Another ingenious advantage of using Cubase for e-drumming is the learning drums aspect. My note track with its drum map and colors really looks the way I want it. You can not only synchronize it to the audio, but also to a video, for example a time stretched drum video. And you can of course use the possibility to root EZ Drummer's audio to different instrument channels and have it processed by Cubase effects or your favorite third-party plugins. Here I have four instrument outs. The first one is default with no effects. The second and the third one are with EQing. I use the Cubase Artist Studio EQ inserted to the third output channel.
and you can see the force output with additional compression and reverb. Now I want to finally show you the ingenious MIDI plugin Transformer, which comes with the Cubase Artist and Pro versions. Here I use it for tweaking the closed hi-hat sound of the variable hi-hat articulation. EZ Drummer 2 does not offer the option to use the normal closed articulation instead of the default tight articulation when the hi-hat controller pedal's position is full down. But sometimes I don't want the tight sound as the most close one. This is the moment when one of my favorite tools Transformer comes in. I program it in order to have not the MIDI controller value 127, but instead value 125, what triggers the normal closed sound, for the full down position. So I do a calculation where I subtract 2. This I do only for the hi-hat MIDI track. And I will insert one instance of transformer to all other MIDI tracks in order to delete any continuous controller MIDI data. But remember, this goes only for the default EZ Drummer 2 hi-hat pedal correction. If you choose different curves here, the transformer subtract value must be matched. So this is a great and simple way to get the normal closed hi-hat sound instead of the tight one. The second instance of transformer here in this track is a very special one. It is for preventing the bow sound of the hi-hat when hitting the edge very softly, what for example always unwanted happens with the Roland CY5 or 8 cymbal pad. There are many cases when you want the options and possibilities of the Transformer MIDI plugin or also other Cubase MIDI plugins when it comes to e-drumming with different VST instruments. So write a comment or contact me if you want to talk about this subject or need help. Here again is my EZ Drummer 2 Cubase Arranger setup with all the different articulations. EZ Drummer 2 stock modern library with 5 toms and 4 crashes. Here you can see a gate function for the right bow articulation in order to eliminate kind of crosstalk when hitting the bell very powerfully. And the same with the mixes view. Thanks for watching and see you in the next. BDG. Ooh, yeah.
video 